Go to the Tools panel in Affinity Designer and select the Ellipse tool. Hold down the Shift and create a circle. Now I'm just going to create another circle. It could be any shape. It could be a star. It could be anything. In fact, I'm going to go and create a star. Probably easier to demonstrate. Now, of course, at the moment, it's got the same colour. Not so effective. So I'm just going to quickly change the colour to go to red. And I'm going to go to Edit and Cut. Now, with that shape selected, it could be, of course, any other shape. It doesn't have to be a circle. It could be a star itself. What you can do, go to Edit and Paste Inside. So edit and paste inside. Now paste it where it was. So I'm just gonna just drag it down there. And you can see now, if I go over here, slightly shifted, slightly shifted. And it's part of this thing. This is the parent and this is the child. Very similar to groups in many ways, but works slightly different from them, but very similar sort of structure. However, you can move it around. And while you're inside, obviously selecting that child, you can hold down the alter option key and duplicate. So you can create multiple designs there, create another one, and so on. So you can build up some very complex designs inside this shape. And also, while you've got that selected, that star there, you can go and add, say, a different shape. Maybe change the colour, so you don't have maybe like that. And you can add more, and you can see they're all added inside that parent. And again, create multiple ones there, like that. However, once you've done that, you can see then... You've got this design now you can select the parent and with the parent selected you can move them around so you can reposition it you can resize you can rotate do a whole load of things but you can also go up here there's an option here lock children now if you got the parent selected doesn't matter if you because if you select the child the child that's gone then but it's only when the parent says lock children so click there and then you can move that around. You can see you can position it. So you decide, you know what? I want the design just to have it, those designs there. And then you can deselect that. And then you can move it around again, if that's what you want to do. However, once you've got this design, what you can do, you can hold down the alter option key and you can duplicate that. So you can create another design. And it's exactly the same with all the same elements there. You can see everything there as before. And you can move them independently again. You can just select one, resize it even. So just resize that, move it there, select another one, move it there, change the color, etc. And you can move them around and again, select the parent and move that, position that. But you can also go to edit and cut. And now with this selected, now let's make it slightly bigger and move it around. Lock children, move things there. So you've got a bit of spike, obviously, for the design. Now I can go over here, edit, and paste inside again. So this time, that one that was the parent, now is obviously got, it's the child, and you've got this parent inside, in here. And you can move it around, reposition it, all those sort of things. You can see it's just shifted slightly. And you've still got all these other parts. So you can click there and you can still continue to modify those. Though if they're outside the area of the design, then you won't see them. And you can see it's just slightly cropped there as well. You can move it, reposition it if you're not happy with that design. Or maybe select that one, move that around and so on and so on. So you can create a variety of different and exactly the same. You can set that and you can copy that one. So or duplicate it. So hold down the alter option key, duplicate that, create multiple copies and you can see that go there select all of those go to edit and cut and you can create another container or parent so just create that edit and paste inside and they're pasted inside there and you can see then you can move those around like that create all kinds of unique designs for artistic text that's probably better very very small unfortunately let's just resize that so it's a bit bigger than that you can see that there so you can do the same with that text i can just quickly create a circle hold down the shift got a circle there edit and cut select this text and you can see the text there and i can go to edit and paste inside and again you can see exactly the same thing it's just like there obviously i'll just get rid of that frame text don't want that again i can hold down the alter option key Duplicate design, so you can see you can make some very, very colourful type 
or text very quickly just by holding down that and creating multiple ones of these dots. And of course you can still continue to resize, recolor, click there, recolor design and so on. And again, you can move it over to there and much, much more. And of course, exactly the same as before. That's the parent, that's the child. You can resize this. So I'm just gonna resize it. And again, I can just go, just do exactly the same before, edit and cut and create another container or parent. So just something like that. Edit and paste inside. And you can see now design is inside there. And also again, hold down the alter option key and duplicate that. And you can see you can create some very nice designs very quickly by using combinations of endless copies of containers, parents, all that are still live, still editable. So you can decide, you know what, I wanna move that one there or duplicate it, etc. Or maybe create another shape within it. So you decide now I want some stars. You can see it's in there like that and so on and so on. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.